there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Bass Station Skin. Today we are playing as part of our cold open series, Xenoraid from 10 Ton Games. So, we played a 10 Tons game recently, and I mentioned this game in that video. It was a neon chrome. Xenoraid is a procedurally generated uh, space combat game. I, I mean... Procedure generated has its limitations. Uh, the the roguelike game is awesome, but this is application of procedure generated to individual battles. When you're kind of like you're having to try and keep your characters alive and develop them as part of the story, so having a difficulty spike or a curve that is not that predictable is not a great thing. So essentially, let's just jump in and play a little bit of generated, so you can see what I'm talking about by what the um, gameplay is like. So uh, we've got our first mission here to play. Um, I've played through a couple of the early missions of this to test it out and find out what it's like, so you can see. Confirmed, sir. We've detected more than 100 enemies, including five gunships. Go all in. Expend all resources. We must keep the missile bay intact. So uh, what you have in the game is that you fly multiple fighter pilot jets at the same time, and each one of them are individually... Um, Sta standardized out. You've got different equipment for each one of them. So some of them might have a heat transfer chamber that makes you able to shoot for longer, increases the size of the shot, or has a better gun mount inside it. And you can switch which one you're in order and which pilot is doing what, and they all level up as you go through survive through levels. And by selling ships, you have more credits that you can spend to upgrade ships. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see what kind of things are sitting on each one of these. So <sighs> hang on, oh, they're all Starlight S fours. So I'm assuming you can actually buy new ships later on. Um, let's just jump straight into a combat mission. Uh, of course, there's tech labs. You can actually upgrade a bunch of stuff as well. These things are all applied to your, all your characters. And uh, we see in Mission 6 that we have five large ships, 35 medium-sized ships, and 55 small ships. So it's a, a medium difficulty. So it generally, it, do, it, it doesn't tell you... It doesn't say what way they come out in, but tells you at least... What is there for you to take out? God, I can't even remember the controls of this. There we go. So I remember the controls at least. So as you can see, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a um, Space Mutants clone, I suppose, or Xevious, or any of the classic shmups of theirs. Uh, uh, uh. So, um, yeah, that was just uh, a little bit too close for comfort. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I think I'm actually doing not too bad here. The only problem is that like, you're worrying about the overheating of your weapons. Um, it's really hard to manage like the overheat. Especially whenever I've got one of these bloody shitty triggers on this goddamn controller. Ah! I've got nothing left. Um, I need to switch ships. So, yeah, you can switch ships by... Oh, God. Oh, why did I ship? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot how to switch ships. It's actually, like, the front buttons rather than actually your um, directional buttons. So you actually, like, can switch ships mid-battle at any time you feel like. Which is kind of awesome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Which means that you kind of uh, keep yourself well accustomed to actually being able to dodge any attacks and uh, make sure you don't have an overheated vehicle. It'll, uh, being able to use that quick change also helps you to dodge really uh, dangerous amounts of enemies. Oh, that was close. I think I managed to dodge that one, actually. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha again. Oh, shit. Um, I'm all burned out. Oi. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing too badly here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I need to be careful because it's actually starting to fill up the screen full of enemies.
Second wave destroyed. Alright, so I obviously got plenty uh, coming to attack me. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's actually a wee bonus there. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I've got to change ships. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, I'm not going to risk trying to take a shot at that from an awkward angle. Boom! Down you go. Oh, whoa! Oh, you bastards! I thought I was going to be bringing that big ship again. Right. Uh. Got him. That's the same got. Oh, man. I am overheating. The problem is with the overheating is that you just don't. You end up giving your enemies an opportunity to just fill your screen space. Which then leaves you unable to retaliate uh, because you're spending more time dodging. More than anything else. Oh god, that's so fucking frustrating. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. All right. Especially if they get behind you as well, because it's like that little, that little gap that they can get behind you and they can stay on screen without you being able to retaliate. I want to be able to have a reverse shooting gun. That's what I really want to want to actually have like multiple directions for myself. Or to be able to turn myself completely at least. That's that's the one thing that's really lacking in this, is that you don't have, like, almost the asteroids or, um, I don't know, maybe Geometry Wars level of control where you can rotate yourself to dodge out of the way and shoot in all, back in all the directions. You can only shoot forward while dodging left, right, and back. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> Here we go. The cruiser is within missile range. Major Villiers, fire when ready. Yes, sir. Firing missiles. Did we take him down? What happened? Did the warheads not detonate? Confirm, sir. No detonation. The enemy cruiser seems to have destroyed the missiles. I see. Well, it did seem too easy. Too good to be true. We are completely exposed now, and the cruiser is closing in. We're out of here. Evacuate the base. Yes, sir. Transports will leave for Phobos within an hour. You'll be leading the convoy. I'll see if I can buy you some time. Goodbye, Julie. Sir, wait. Goodbye? Oh, well, that was the Vanguard. I managed to complete the uh, first mission. Oh, wait. Hang on. Is there still, like, a mission to do? We'll start by engaging. Yes, sir. Interceptors are ready to engage. Our sensory pick up 59 crafts. There are two types. One is slightly larger than the other. That's all we know until we get into visual range. Oh, wait. Is this actually, like... Going back over the first missions again? Oh, well, can I not leave? Oh, man, so if I actually choose a chapter, it makes me play back that chapter again? That's a bit shitty. Wait, wait, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, what the fuck, man? Did I just reboot the entire game on myself? Fuck you, game! Oh! Ah! That's really frustrating. Well, I was gonna play a little bit more of this, but no, fuck you, game! I'm gonna do that all. No, oh, fuck that. Nope, 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 nope. No, that was Xenorate, folks. Not a fucking chance I'm going to go back and play through the entirety of the first chapter again. Um, I would have happily gone out. I thought I was actually going to be able to go in and like, oh, there was a boss fight or something. But no, that's, uh, that's, um, four shades of shitty right there. That's not fun. Not fun at all. Um, it's a bit of a harsh thing to say, like, them doing it. Like, the game doing that is... Put me off the game completely. I, I actually enjoy Xenoraid. It's an old school shooter with um, a modern twist to it, with the uh, the constantly changing patterns for the enemies. But it has limitations in the the directionality of the ships. Like I want to so so bad shoot behind me, 
And I know it's part and parcel with actually the, the dodging mechanics to make use of it better. But man, it would just make it would just make that feel so much better to to get that guy who's already moved past you and is having to wait. They're doing this wandery thing instead of like going off the goddamn screen so I can just move on to the next wave. Um, yeah, I, I like the enemy types are in it. I actually like the progression of the vehicles and uh, the basic kind of like monetary management of just kind of like paying for your upgrades, paying for your repairs between missions. And uh, I really felt that it was, like, it's almost had that XCOM feeling of trying to keep those pilots alive. I didn't want those pilots to die. So I was happy to um, to take on the challenge of it. But yeah, that, that, that completing the world and then not being able to go back without losing all the progress. Oh, <laughs> that was not fucking cool. So um, yeah, guys, this has been 10 Tons of Xeno Raid. Uh, you can pick this up on the PS4 along with uh, their other games that are available, like uh, Neon Chrome. Uh, this has been a cold open, a first look at Xenoraid here on Pastiche of Skin. So, yeah, uh, I'm Derm, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.